Jay, how tough is it to you know be able to work the ball down the field multiple times, get inside Syracuse 30, and just have them be able to take the ball away from you guys? How tough is that, I guess, for an offense? Um, it's really tough when you um, – the tough thing about uh, our passing game and our offense is – uh, we, our, with our drop back passes, we making plays and we completing passes. We moving down the field. We flipping the field. It's just we gotta finish. Like that's the toughest thing for us, and we gotta uh, like overcome that. We gotta finish. Like we can't keep getting flags and turning the ball over and, and, like in the red zone. Like we had four trips to the red zone, and we didn't succeed at none. We had a field goal in our back pocket each time, and we didn't. You know, we didn't take it. We fumbled. I threw an interception. And we missed a field goal. It's, it's fine, but. As an offense, we got to get better with finishing drives, and that's that's really the main thing. Jaden, go ahead. CJ, um, uh, y'all still finished with some really good numbers. You know, what are you kind of telling yourself and telling your teammates about how to move forward? Um, I'm kind of telling myself just the. Um, as the game going on, I gotta be able to take care of the ball more. Like that's just the main thing. Like that's what's killing us. Like we playing, we playing so well. Like like I said, we're flipping the field. We just keep turning the ball over. Like even last week, where um, I threw that pick at in the game, that's the problem. We can't keep turning the ball over. I can't keep turning the ball over me personally. So that's what I'm telling myself, and I'm telling the offense keep playing how they're playing because we're playing really good. Especially at the old line position, we, everybody we we doing our job. We making plays. We just gotta finish drives, and that's the main thing. Corey, go ahead. Yeah, CJ, Dave mentioned earlier uh, when we spoke to him that, you know, the mm -hmm. fact that the turnovers are, are what's the most frustrating part of this. Uh, and he said coveting the football is is the biggest thing that this team needs to work on. I mean, what types of things do you feel like the team needs to do overall to be able to start realizing that you have to cover the football and not not turn it over at this point? It's all just mental stuff, like just little details. And we worked on everything during the week. Like, we got ball security drills every day of the week. Like, we holding the ball and carrying the ball. And it's – even though Kendrick fumbled, I fumbled. And I got to take care of the ball as I'm in the pocket. Like, uh, I didn't really – like, I would take you through the play. I didn't really expect – it was an RPI. I didn't really expect him to call, come off the edge. I was getting ready to throw the ball, and he did it. So, but but anyways, we got, we got ball security drills the whole weekend. We still fumbled the ball. So, like, we got to take care of it. Like, fumbling is – all right, that's something that shouldn't happen. But interception is that I got to take care of that. I shouldn't happen either. But, you know, like the main thing was got to just take care of the ball. And that's, that's just the main thing going in that sweep. Rob, go ahead. Yeah, CJ, what type of growth and development are you seeing from the skill guys uh, that you're throwing the ball to, handing the ball to? Are they developing and getting better week by week? Do you see separation and do you see roles developing within those groups? Yeah, yeah, I, I see a lot, especially at that receiver position. Like, those guys are getting way more confident, and we're trusting each other way more. Like, as the week going, as, as we kept on getting reps, and even in practice, like, I could see, like, we play with more confidence, and we trust each other more. So, like, I could I could, I could could be able to take those shots to those guys, and and I know they're going to come down with it because we trust each other. And that's, that's all I see every week, confidence and growth. Charlie, go ahead. Hey, CJ, I know it wasn't the outcome that you wanted tonight, but now that you've gotten a couple starts under your belt, do you feel like the game's starting to slow down and simplify for you in a way? Yeah, uh, coming into this game tonight, it, it felt really slow. Like, I, I really see everything I saw in front of my throws and everything. It's just the interception I just missed out. But as the week going, as the week goes on and Coach Rope keeps preparing me well, it's like I'm getting way more confidence in back then. I'm trusting everything I see, so it's like – those reps and those like me starting is really crucial for my future, and I, I'm I'm happy that I'm getting a chance right now as I'm playing. All right, last question for CJ will come from Jaden. I know the season hasn't gone how this, this team wants or how you wanted, but is there anything specific that you're really proud of that you've done or accomplished? Specifically this week, the main thing I'm proud of is that we kept fighting. Like, we did not lay down. And everybody had each other back and trust each other. That's the biggest thing that I saw this week. And like, I, I want to see that next week and moving forward. I just keep playing. Like, no matter the score, no matter how we plan, just keep keep playing. And, you know, that, that's what I've seen this week, and I, and I love it. That's, that's one thing. That's one positive that I love from the team. Thanks for joining us, CJ. Thank you. And that concludes.